Hi, I'm Keiko at Wisteria Surrey Ranch, and today I'm going to show you how I needle felt a mouse, like this. Enjoy! Okay, so let's cover the supplies. So you can get a little kit uh, at, at, at my Etsy shop, or if you already have a kit or a general kit, you probably have everything you need. So you're going to want about 0.07 ounces or two grams, it's very little bit, to make the larger mouse, okay? So that's just a guideline. And to make it faster, you can use little pom-poms. Um, these are really great, but you don't have to have them. You could just roll up a little extra wool and you'll have what you need. Or you can use the little, little pom-poms. So I used a little pom-pom for this one and I used a slightly larger one for this one. And they are about this big. <laughs> I don't know, about an inch and a half maybe? Uh, okay, and then you'll want a tiny little bit for the nose, pink for the nose. This is like a lot. So you'll probably only need like a pinch, like this much and you'll want a little pinch of black as well okay so I'm going to do this most likely all in real time um, and you can have various needles I just kind of poke and figure out which one works um, best I usually have a 36 gauge which is for course uh, 38 one of these is 38 which is all-purpose and then a 40 gauge which is a, for fine wool um, and it, you know, sometimes I don't know how fine everything is, so I'll just kind of poke it and whatever works is the one I use. I don't really get too worked up about it, <laughs> so just play. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little bit for the ears and nose. I probably won't need that much, but I'm just going to put it aside. And I'm going to go ahead and use the pom-pom to make it go a little faster. So this is a really great beginner project. So I'm going to put the pom-pom here. Hopefully my finger's not covering it. And then I'm gonna cover it up a little bit like this. And then I'm gonna just roll it. So I'm rolling the pom-pom. Let me show you that again. So you got the pom-pom here. And then I'm just gonna cover it like so. So you see the pom-poms right here covered. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it down. And then I'm just going to cover it a little bit. So you'll want the pom-pom to be a little closer to you, okay? And then I'm just going to roll and roll and roll there. So that's all rolled up with a pom-pom inside. And at this point, I'm going to seal it by poking um, right where um, it ended. And you don't have to worry about breaking your needle because the pom-pom's soft. So that's really good. Okay, so I'm just going to poke a little bit to make sure everything is staying together okay like this so I'm gonna rotate it so it doesn't get stuck on the phone okay and the end that's closest to the pom-pom that's gonna be the um, the tail end of my little mouse so I'm gonna start poking it in to make it rounder and bigger so just poking 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 Do you see that and you were just poking right into the pom-pom, but um, your needle won't break. So the key to making sure your needle doesn't break is to poke it in the same angle that you poke out. So you wanna kinda keep it steady like this. So what you don't want is you don't wanna put it in and bend it and pull it out or something. Just kinda weird angles and weird movement, okay? So as long as you put it in and draw it out in the same direction, it shouldn't really break it. I, I really rarely ever break needles. Okay, so the direction you poke it in is the direction it's gonna um, shrink in or get smaller and tighter in form. So you can kind of see how it's starting to create a nice round tail end. <laughs> okay, so that's my tail end. And so you can see this side still fluffy and since I want my mouse to have a pointy head like this, what I'm going to do is, since my pom-poms are here, I'm gonna start just poking it like this. So kinda keeping it, not going like in like I did on the um, tail end. I'm just gonna kinda go um, as it is, sorta like in a triangle or a cone or, yeah, a cone like an ice cream cone right here. Okay, 
like this. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate it so it doesn't get stuck. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that looks a little sloppy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and poke it in a little bit so the nose isn't too, too long. Okay, so I'm gonna poke it in here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again to tighten it up again. So I'm gonna go again, rotating, rotating, rotating. And the firmness of your um, little mouse is really up to you. If you kinda like it light and fluffy, then you don't poke as much because the more you poke, the harder it's gonna get. Okay, as long as it kinda stays together. Okay, so now I'm going to sort of shape it a little bit more since I want it to look kind of cute. And if for any reason you don't like how it's coming out, you, have a, you can always add. It's easier to add than take away. So I can take a little bit of the um, fluff and I can go, hmm, maybe this will look cuter. Okay, so I like that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah. Okay, so now you can kind of see how I could fix it really easily. So there's really no way you can do this wrong. That's the fun of it. <laughs> That's why I love it so much. Okay. Oh, fun, fun, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you, you can um, spend more time, you know, figuring out if you want a slightly rounder butt, <laughs> uh, mouse butt, or not. Um, but let's move on and let's get the ear going. Okay, so there are different ways to do the ears, but I'm just gonna um, take a little bit of fluff. Actually, it'd be smart to get about two of the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two roughly the same size. And... Just leave it here so it doesn't fly away. And then um, I'm just gonna roll it up just a little bit. Okay. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and do it really simple. So I'm just making a little circle like this, like this. Okay. And then I'll just kind of fold it over gently, not get my fingers. and start to for form a little ear shape, like this. And if you like your mouse ears really big, you can make it really big. If you like it smaller, you just figure out what you want to do. You can always um, attach it and take it off until you get the shape you like. So you don't have to leave this big fluff here, but I just it just kind of ended up like that, and it does help to help attach it when you put it here. So, let's see, do I like that? Um, and then you can also flip it over too and tighten it a little bit, otherwise it's gonna be a little extra fuzzy. Okay, so I'm just tightening the back. I think that's okay. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to do the other um, ear the same kind of way. And like I mentioned, there are a couple different ways to make ears, but we're just gonna do it this way in this one. Okay, so rough circle. So take a little more time. I'm just gonna do it for demo. So I'm just gonna go a little faster since I don't think I know how to speed it up on the video. <laughs> okay. So then you figure out where you want to attach it. And I'll just sort of fluff it up and maybe just put it in. So where you attach it, you just poke it in. I'm going from the back and then I'll go from the front. There. Okay, and then I'll try to get it even as much as possible. <sighs> There, there we go. Put it in. <laughs> okay, so it could use a little more tightening up, but 
I think that's okay for now. So you got your years. Okay, so next let's do the eyes. So I'm taking like a really little bit of black here. You probably can't even see it. And I'm gonna split that into two and then I'm gonna just roll it. And you can do one at a time. I'm just doing two <laughs> fingers. Okay, and then once I roll it really tight, I'm gonna look at it and go, hmm. Does that look too big? Maybe, but I'll just go ahead and poke that in. So I made two eyeballs and now I'm just gonna poke it in. And if it is too big, you can always um, pull off a little piece. Actually, that's not as big as I thought it would be. Okay, so if you don't like it, then you just pull off a little bit and then roll it again. Okay, or if it's too small, you can just add more. So you can do that. Or you can sew in beads or add googly eyes and make it really fun. Okay, so there. Okay, so those are the eyes. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, where's your eyes? Okay, there. Okay, now I'm going to make a pink nose. And again, I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and roll it up. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, so I'm just rolling it and I like it. So I'm just gonna put it at the very tip and poke. There, there we go. So there's the nose. <laughs> now I need a tail. So you can um, use yarn, strings, whatever you like, but you can also take a little bit of the wool and I'm just gonna roll it like this between my palms, really fast and tight. There. And if you want to tighten it, you can um, just poke it. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And then I'll just fluff up the one end that I'm going to attach and then I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it right here. So all you're doing is poking it. Okay, so that didn't have a skinnier of the end. That's okay. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, so there's your little mouse. And I will show you how to make a little play pad in a different video. So look, look for the little play pad. It's real easy and fun. Bye, thanks for watching.